All right, here we are back again live, guys, and uh, I'm going to just show you how I do a little polish uh, with uh, some abrasives. So, so a little bit around. We're going to go right around this area. I'm going to use a little coarse compound. I believe this is a Comet uh, polisher, rubber polisher. We're going those areas first. Those inclines. Okay, we'll switch out to a pink polisher. That's next. And so we're going through a, a definite sequence. Uh, it's uh, kind of nice to polish these things outside the mouth. A little easier on our patient. You see a definite change now in polishability. Uh, we're going to use the gray next, and that should get us pretty close to where we want to be. A little polishing going on here. Just this is our implant crown. It's the second part. Uh, it could be a three or four part uh, series. But, um, kind of a hot topic today, being debated about what to do under the gum tissue. You know, are we are we paying enough attention to the undersurface of the solid abutment as it goes subgingively? Various implant companies have different configurations, uh, so you have to kind of understand what you're dealing with. Again, here's my final polish on my implant crown, and we're we're doing great. There's the underside and. Uh, It's got a nice clean, clean look to it. So we'll just dry that off now. I'm gonna polish that a little bit more. So that's the polishing. A little bit about contour as well. Um, we're going to use something called a pick and stick so we'll be able to control this via the occlusal portion. So it's a sticky and it, it's got a little uh, wax on the end of it and a little stick. You could probably make these yourself. It costs uh, about 45 cents each so maybe you can try to make it yourself. Uh, here's the inside of our implant crown getting ready to be cemented in. First thing we're going to do is paint a lubricant. I'm going to use a Bendex or excuse me a uh, micro brush with some just normal uh, household uh, lubricant. We'll paint that around 360 degrees all the way around. In through the contact we're also going to paint it to the facial aspect, distal aspect, everywhere. Be very careful not to get this on a margin. And we're going to use a cement called Reliax Cement. It is a composite cement. And uh, I'm not going to go through the chemistry with you because we've got to get all this in our, our video. Alright, so this is ready. Let me show you in the mouth what's going on. We packed our cord. We left a little buckle tail out to the side so that we have that to grab a hold of after we cement the crown. We'll be able to pull our Siltrax out. So Siltrax is underneath. There's our impression coping that's pushing the tissue down just a little bit further and now that's working really well for us so we're gonna pop this off take a look at that tissue underneath the dental assistant is she's getting the um, the cement out of the refrigerator right now and we're also gonna chill our crown in these uh, let me just tell her now hey Maria let's go ahead and put the crown in the fridge for about a couple minutes all right well, there we go And now our 
impression coping is in place just to tell you a little bit about what's going on here so it's not only pushing down a little bit it's also seeding that cord a little further around the implant but also it's pushing the tissue away so we have access to seat the crown without any obstruction you notice there are nice flat contacts on both the uh, mesial of this gold crown here and the distal of our porcelain crown the pre-existing so the stage is set we'll go ahead and uh, cement I do have to lower the light to do that. The dental assistant's going to go ahead and she's going to retrieve the crown now and the cement. And we'll get ready to cement this in place. Dom, how you doing? All right? Underneath? Good. Good. So I make sure you're still alive. All right. Good, good, good. Uh, we're having fun here. We're just going to go ahead and just dry this out some more. We're using a 20 gauge uh, syringe needle here. That works pretty well. It dries everything thoroughly. Now I'm going to pull off that, uh, that impression coping. I'm going to try to show you a s very, very good uh, I'm going to zoom in on that uh, on that abutment now. Here we go. Now you notice immediately that that cell tracks you can see at 360 degrees all the way around the tooth. Alright. There it is. Beautifully. Done I might add. That's a nice blow up right there. Hopefully you guys can see that all the way around 360 degrees out there in a, from this video. Alright so we're going to go ahead and cement. We'll lower our light. She's getting everything I need to get this in place. Here we go. I'm going to actually going to do it on the next video. So bear with me. Jerry Cuomo out. I'll see you at the next.